So when Xiaomi announced that they are coming up with a brand new OS called Hyper OS, my first question was, does it fix MIUI, all of its problems? What are the new features? Well, we have Hyper OS running on the Xiaomi 14 Pro, so you know what? Let's get to the big changes first up. So starting off, you see the new Hyper OS logo when starting up the phone. And the first thing that I noticed when using this phone was how smooth the animations are. I mean, just look at the animation from the AOD to the lock screen or the animation when launching apps and then minimizing them. Even the animations in the control center look clean and smooth. There's also this new animation when a new app is installed, which is pretty cool. Now, I know the control center MIUI was always iOS-like and it's even more iOS-like now with the big media playback tile and very similar animations for volume and brightness. And if you thought that's pretty much it in terms of the iOS resemblance, well, check out the new lock screen in HyperOS. See, there are different styles of lock screens here. There's classic with a lot of different options. There's rhombus with these modern clock styles and there's magazine. All of these styles are totally customizable. You can change the text, the text style, you can change the clock style, you can change the colors of the text, add your own photo with the cool depth effect. There's also this matte effect for the wallpapers, these different filters to choose from. Yeah, there's a lot of options here. And I love that the AOD animation changes depending on the lock screen clock style. It's very cool. Now coming to the home screen, there's even a dynamic island-like animation when you put the phone to charge or you know change the ringer mode or share hotspot with the phone. As for the home screen, it's not changed a lot. There are some tweaks to some icons, but they still look very MIUI, Xiaomi. And the settings app also has some nice changes. The about phone section has been updated with the new look. The wallpaper and personalization page has all the customization features with the lock screen, the wallpaper, the AOD and more. The camera UI has been changed to with important settings up front and more options hidden in this drop down menu. And I like how when you tap an option in this menu, it lets you change things then and there. The weather app has also changed with an updated UI that I think presents all the details with these cards better. The gallery app also gets some new features. For example, I can now select an object or a subject from a photo by just press holding it and the animation is basically identical to iOS. There are also some very cool multitasking features. You can now press hold on an app in the sidebar for these two options, open it in full screen or open it in split screen. I also noticed that moving a floating window around the screen is much smoother and this three dot button lets you put a floating window to full screen or split screen. Anyway, all these changes are good, but Xiaomi has been hyping up HyperOS as a brand new OS. So I wanted to see how good the performance is. I mean, HyperOS is supposed to bring better CPU allocation, better memory management and a lot of changes under the hood. Now to give you an idea, HyperOS's firmware size is smaller compared to the firmware size on the Pixel or the iPhone 15 Pro or the S23 Ultra. I also felt that it keeps apps in memory for longer than MIUI, but hey, this is that top of the line smartphone. So yeah, I think we'll get a better idea once HyperOS arrives in India, maybe on a mid-range smartphone or a budget smartphone. See, we'll be making a video on HyperOS when it arrives in India, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out that video. Anyway, apart from the performance, Xiaomi has also been hyping up HyperOS as this one unified OS for their phones, laptops, tablets, their IoT devices, even in their car and I did notice this interconnectivity page which brings a lot of cool ecosystem features. I mean you can continue tasks in the same app on different devices. The home screen plus option will allow other devices to use this device's home screen. There's universal clipboard, notification mirroring, accept calls on other devices. There's also this combine apps option for cars. Now we don't have the Xiaomi car in India but I'm expecting the other features to make it to the Indian HyperOS build. Honestly even MIUI's Chinese ROM had a lot of really cool features that are part of the HyperOS build. For example hitting wallpaper sticks you do wallpapers directly rather than the Teams app and even the widgets page is very clean, very modern. You also get these cool icon options. Even some apps look better. Just look at the file manager here or the clock. It's more modern looking for sure. Now all of these changes have been part of MIUI's Chinese ROM and they are here in HyperOS but the problem is they never really arrived in India in MIUI but with HyperOS that's what I'm expecting to change. Having said that, more than features, more than UI changes, what I'm more interested in knowing is if HyperOS fixes all the MIUI problems, especially in India. And MIUI problems in India are very different. There's complaint around bloatware and ads, there's complaint around buggy updates, poor optimization and poor memory management, slower updates that don't even bring all of the Android features. So yeah, there's a lot that HyperOS needs to fix for Xiaomi in India and I'm hoping it does because this is what matters more than visual changes and you know even features. Anyway, HyperOS is coming to India soon and if you want to know if your phone will get HyperOS OS, you can check out our article with a detailed list of all the compatible devices with HyperOS. So check it out from the link below. Also comment down below what you want in HyperOS that needs fixing in MIUI. Comment down below and thanks for watching.